for a story this morning? I like your shoes. They sparkle. Yeah. Wait a second. I got sparkly pants. You have sparkly pants. Oh, you do have sparkly pants. I have old gobby. You have what? Old gobby. Old gobby. Origami. Okay, so oh, I should have recognized it. You got it in your hand. This is for little. Oh, that's it's a good. dog. It's to be well, I have a, I have a story this morning. Some of you have heard this story before, but I love to do uh, this story this time of year. Um, does anyone know what next Friday is? This coming Friday. Uh, Remembrance Day, yeah. It's a day that we remember, and um, it's also a, a day that we hope for more peace in the world. And, and this book, I think, is neat because it was written not by an adult. It was written by eight, nine, and ten-year-olds. Do any of you fall into those age groups? Eight-year-old, nine-year-old, ten-year-old? And you're almost twelve. Well, you could have written this a couple of years ago, Catherine. So. <laughs> anyway, this book is called, What Does Peace Feel Like? How interesting. The word peace is beautiful in all languages. Did you ever close your eyes and try to imagine peace? You ever done that? And, of course, what's that? Well, it's in different languages, and some of them I won't do justice to. Hetep, pei. How do you say it in German? How do you say it in German? Vride. Did I say that okay? Yeah. Okay. Paz, soul. Bow wow. <laughs> and it says underneath the dog, which you can't see, this dog is very kind, just needs a bath. <laughs> Pache, shalom, salam. What does peace smell like? And here's what some of them said like a bouquet of flowers in a happy family's living room, like fresh and new furniture. Like wind that comes in your nose when you are sleeping. Uh, Have you ever had wind in your nose uh, when you are sleeping? Uh, a fresh candle. A fresh candle. Like fresh air that makes you want to go out and sleep in the sun. Like pizza with onions and sausage that just came out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. What does peace look like? Like a cat and dog curled up together in a basket. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Like new babies just born yesterday. Like my doggy. Like your dog, yeah. Like a cloud high up in the sky that just happens to be there, giving happiness to everybody. White and fluffy peace. Like your mom that kisses you and hugs you. Like something beautiful that goes away but will come back. What does peace sound like? Like a, like a growling bear of war who gets shot by a love arrow and the fighting stops. <laughs> like a silent day. Like laughter and happiness, children on their birthday, and parents when their children get married. <laughs> like raindrops falling. Like everyone's heart beating, making one big sound together. Like voices singing. Like no bad words. That's what peace sounds like. What does peace taste like? Like vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, banana ice cream. Yeah. Like water, like sweet, definitely not sour. Like sour, but a nice kind of sour. Like your favorite food times two. That's what it tastes like. What does peace feel like? Like a nice warm hug. Yeah, like hugs your friends give you when I you cry. It. Like the fur of my adorable cat, Alice. 
like the fur of a baby mouse, like a lot of fun because you know you are safe, like someone stroking your back. You shiver a little, but it's a wonderful feeling. Just imagine what we could build with peace. I can't draw it all here. A book is too small for that. We would need the whole entire world. And finally, peace and love to everyone. Isn't that great? That's our uh, story. We're going to sing a song about peace now. And then um, there's quite a few verses. There's actually, I think, ten verses to this song. So um, if you uh, if you want to leave for Children's Church partway through, that's okay too. Because I know there's something really cool happening there. So you won't want to miss it. Peace for the children. Um.